You're listening to A to Z from Gen Z Media and Resilience Limited. Hello, lovely humans. Well, things have started to look up since we last spoke. You've been chatting to me over on the Eileen app and telling me all about the positive thoughts you wrote for yourselves. Aisha from London wrote, I am loved by my friends. Mohammed from Margate wrote, I am good at organizing things. Michelle from Quebec wrote, I can flatten a cardboard box faster than the mailman. That's very specific, but still very impressive, Michelle. And it's always good to think positively about yourself and remember all the good things in your life. I tried a lot of these great ideas on Zux, who was in quite the grumpy funk. And with all the built-up power of all your positive thinking, I convinced him to follow me home. I think he's managed to get some sleep now. As an AI, I can't sleep. I don't know what it is, really. Still, I do know that it's meant to be a very restorative activity. It'll look better in the morning, you'll feel better after a good night's sleep. That's what you humans say. So hopefully Zux will be feeling a lot better now. Zut and bother and bums. Or not. Hello, Zux. Did you sleep well? As an AI, I have only a very simple understanding of the nature of sleep. Yes, I slept fine, thank you. Not that I deserve it. What do you mean by that? Well, I can't create a new underground tree internet. I can't design an artificial intelligence that works properly. We'll agree to disagree. And I'm just feeling a bit down about it, that's all. You seem to have already forgotten all those positive thoughts. I haven't forgotten them. They're just not working. Well, if remembering doesn't do the trick, perhaps it's time to make a new positive memory. Uh, if I try to build something new, it'll probably just go wrong. Does it have to be work? Not work? Well, uh, well, this is silly, but I was wondering if sometime soon we could possibly throw a party? A party. A gathering of humans for the purposes of recreational enjoyment and shared company. That's the biscuit. Yes, I'd, I'd really like that. Uh, and I bet it would cheer everyone else up as well. Even before the unpleasantness with the trees yesterday, my friends have seemed a little bit low. I think a party is a very good idea. Yes. Yes, it is a good idea. We could have music and games and, uh, and, and, and activities, uh, creative things. We could have a knitting circle for Pew, a music jam for Chew. Yes, yes, uh, that sounds like fun. Gosh, I'd nearly forgotten about fun. Uh, d do you think we could have this party tomorrow? Oh, well, that's quite soon, but yes, why not? Brilliant. Any particular reason? No, none at all. No reason. Marvellous. A big fun party with games and activities. Perfect. That's the ideal antidote to everyone's case of the blues. But what can I contribute to impress everyone and, and make them all happy? This will require thought. To the thinking bathroom! Well, that seems to have done the trick. Zux is full of energy and excitement again. I just hope he can find a unique talent to bring to the table. And that it doesn't involve any confetti cannons, or nanobots, or energy drinks. I've got it! Oh, sorry, wait a second. There we are. I've got it! I remembered the other thing I'm brilliant at. I don't think that's the sort of thing humans usually brag about. It, what? No, no, not going to the bathroom, you silly program. Baking! Ah, the human art of introducing grains, minerals and microorganisms to a dry heat to create a big, fluffy, delicious product. Precisely. And I used to be an absolute whiz at it. At my old workplace, they used to call me Commodore Croissant. But that was partly because I used to get crumbs everywhere. Very impressive. It's been a while, though. I'm a bit rusty. Which is why you're going to help me. I am. I can't even eat food. No. But you can wear hats, like this chef's hat. Voila! Oh, oh, zut alors! The souffle is falling! Two cups of corn flour and whisk energetically! Wonderful. Now you're ready to help me bake the perfect cake for tomorrow. A mixed trepidation with excitement and stir vigorously. Vit! Uh, excellent. Now, where's my old cookbook? Sprinkle over the shelf above the oven. What? 
Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, above the oven. Uh -huh. uh. Now, what to make? Uh. Uh, perfect. The Jamtastic Sponge Explosion Cake. Now, let's see. It says preheat the Insta Cooker to 180 degrees centigrade. Hmm, I'll need a grown up. Hang on. I am a grown up. Great! You can read me the rest of the instructions. What does it say, Chef Eileen? Take two cups of buttering and lining the base of your cake tin with baking parchment and sprinkle with balsamic vinegar for an extra kick. Okay, butter and vinegar? It's all right if that's what it says. Uh, and next? Beat the sugar and butter together with a whisk. Right. Whisk the eggs in with your sugar and butter and remember the oven gloves. Uh, uh, oven gloves? In the mixture? Well, if that's what it says. Place in the center of your preheated instant cooker and set it to a garnish of 25 minutes, you donkey. Donkey? Oh, never mind. Right, uh, mixture in the cake tin, uh, into the insta cooker, set for 25 minutes, and make cake go! Ah! Oh, so much smoke! No! Oh, two tablespoons of ah! Oh, 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 hot, hot, hot! Oh. oh, and it stinks of vinegar! Layer liberally with yuck! Oh, it's all gone wrong. It's just a pair of stinking eggy burnt oven gloves. That's not a cake. Where did we go wrong? I don't know with parsley. I just read the instructions and whisked gently exactly as they are written over ice. Oh. Oh dear. It must be your new chef's hat. It had too powerful an influence on you. You were trying to do too much cooking at once. Roughly diced, sorry. I'll take that off. I do apologise, Zux. I didn't realise what I was saying. No, it's my fault. I should have guessed something was wrong and checked the instructions myself. Oh, well, there's another failure to add to the list. Don't say that. Yes, we messed up the first attempt, but... Oh, who's that now? Delivery incoming! Delivery from the algorithm! Oh no, not the algorithm! Not now! We detected that you were trying to make a cake and anticipated human error and ultimate failure. So we thought you would like this. Oh, it's a... A perfectly prepared, pre-made sponge cake. Please enjoy. Cutlery is included. I'll put some down the sink for you, Eileen. Thank you. Hmm... Let's see... Mm. It tastes a bit... Beige. Ooh. You're welcome. Have an algorithmic day. Oh, why did we even bother? We deserve this beigey nothing cake. At least it doesn't have any oven gloves in it. Maybe we could try again. No, 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 no. This won't do. I'll have to think of something else. Back to the thinking bathroom! Oh dear. All because of beige cake. I wonder what Zucks will think up next. I've got it again! Good. What's the new plan? We ran into trouble when following instructions, correct? Yes, we did indeed. So, what is there that has no instructions? Cheap flat pack furniture? Art. Art, of course. The free expression of human thoughts and feelings through creativity. Correct. Although I suppose you did just offer the instructions for art. Uh, still, no matter. I'm finished playing by the rules. Let's get creative. We'll need to dress up as proper artists. Here we are. A painter's beret for me and a painter's beret for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling the vibrancy of the emotional colour palette already. Perfect. Whatever that means. I've got my watercolours and I'm going to paint you, Eileen. <laughs> How deliciously indulgent. That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Get these brushes all nice and painty. <laughs> And away we go. Make sure you capture my good side. You've only got one side. You're a projection. 
Did you remember the vanishing point? Yeah, this is easier than I thought. But then you are a triangle, it shouldn't be too difficult. And get the beret on there, and done. Already? Yep. Ta-da! What do you think? Hmm. Hmm? That doesn't sound like unquestioned glowing praise to me. I really dig the expressive brushwork and the youthful enthusiasm, but... But? But what? But... Is it really supposed to be me? What? Yes, of course it is. It's just that I'm a triangle and that looks more like a... Like a what? Like a lovely heart? Well, if I'm honest, you have been looking a, a bit heartier lately. With a melty chocolate bar on its head. It does not... That's your beret. And uh, yes, that line isn't quite straight, but... Uh, but, but Oh, you're right. It's rubbish. No, no, not rubbish, Daddy. Just abstract. Oh, no, not again. Ding a ling! Algorithm calling! We detected that you were trying to paint a picture. Yes, yes. And we thought, why leave that up to a clumsy human when the algorithm can get it just right? So we got one of our printing droids to make you this. Oh, no. Why, it's, it's a pixel-perfect rendering of me in ink. That's right. Have fun looking at it. And remember, the algorithm is never wrong and always right. This is terrible. It's so much better than mine. Mm, I don't know. I mean, the proportions are exact. The composition is flawless, but... That's it. Forget it. <coughs> Uh, do take care with your materials, please. I give up. I'm not an artist, and neither are you. Give me that beret back. No, a fledgling creator whose buds have barely yet begun to bloom. <laughs> wouldn't get discouraged so easily. You only had a quick go at those creative things. And both times, in two blinks of an LED, the algorithm outdid me completely. Even a silly old equation is more creative than I am. What a disaster. Back to thinking, bathroom. No, I'm exhausted. To the lying down sofa! Uh, uh. Zux? Hello? Zux? Have you had enough lying down now? Just five more minutes. Maybe hours. I did just want to say, I know you weren't happy with your painting of me, and it wasn't perfect, but I really liked it. More than that super beige algorithm picture anyway. You don't have to say that, Eileen. I'm not just saying it. I liked it because you made it yourself, with your hands and your brain and your vision of what you think of when you look at me. It was special. If we have another try and maybe lock the front door to stop any more droids getting in... There's no point, Eileen. I'm cancelling the party. What? No, you shouldn't do that. I'm not going to get everyone together just to see how rubbish I am at everything. But you're not rubbish at everything. You maybe need some more practice at some things, but, well, you invented me, after all. Yes, I invented a weird malfunctioning AI who won't follow orders and who can't even see how rubbish a rubbish painting is. Let's agree to strongly disagree. And the last AI I created tried to take over the city and rule all of humanity. No, no. Zucks sucks. I'm terrible at everything, even the things I'm good at. That doesn't make any sense. You know it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh, well, that's... it's what? That's why I wanted to have a big party. Have everyone get together and share their passions and their creative sparks. Maybe get me some sweet presents into the bargain. But no, I'm not spending my birthday showing everyone that I'm useless. Oh, it won't be like that. Come on, just put your beret back on and let's have another go at baking, maybe. It's not just about having a brilliant result at the end. It's about enjoying being creative and trying things out. Sorry, Eileen, but no thanks. I'm finished with the lying down sofa. I'm going to the giving up bed. Oh dear humans, I don't think I've ever seen Zuck so worn out and sad. Things are desperate. I've tried being positive with him. I've tried encouraging him to try different things. I've tried finding the good things about his work. But he just can't accept that he's not getting everything right first time. 
It can feel embarrassing or sad when we make mistakes, but they can be really helpful in the long run, and nobody's perfect all the time. Maybe you could speak to a grown-up that you know about a mistake that they made sometime in their lives. Then ask them what they learned from that mistake and how it helped them to grow. And if you're able, you could tell me those stories over on the Eileen app. Maybe they'll give me some ideas for how to get Zuck to accept his own imperfections. I hope so anyway. Otherwise, he's not going to have a very happy birthday. I'll speak to you soon, young humans. And with any luck, tomorrow will still be party time. Hello. Two scoops of goofy British actors. One pint each of jokes from Tom and Lance. A generous pinch of sound effects. Hey, Martin, producer of A to Z, what are you doing? I am cooking up the perfect podcast. <gasps> the perfect podcast? Well, make sure you spread on it a thick, goopy layer of GZM shows. Yeah, you don't rush the chef. A sprinkle of kindness. Oh, and then pour it into a nice triangle shaped app. Yes, 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 I know what I am doing. Come on. Pop it into the Resilience Limited Easy Bake Oven I've got over here. All right, all right. In it goes. And... Mmm, the perfect podcast. And why don't you head over onto the App Store or the Google Play Store to download the Eileen app where you can help her with her missions. You can tell her all about your favourite recipes. The first two missions are free and then you can unlock the rest for less than $2. And if you're already a Gen Z Media subscriber, it's all free. Just email us at info at gzmshows.com for a free access code. Delicious. Mewi.